And let us now gather together, united by the proclamation of the statement of our faith. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and Son. He is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And we look for the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us engage in our holy conversation with God, the prayers of the people. Keeping our hearts and minds open, let's praise the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to bring peace across our world, particularly peace in Ukraine. We pray for all those who are searching for peace and for all those who are threatened right now by violence or warfare. We pray that people will realize that we have more in common with our neighbors than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear yeah. our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace to the leaders of our church and all religions. They provide us with guidance and spirituality. We ask you to open up our ears, our minds, and our hearts. We may listen to those words and act on them. And in doing so, we might show to others empathy, compassion, and kindness. And at this time, we particularly pray for our new bishop, Bishop Fleming. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to look down our troubled world and give direction and understanding to the political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us. Where there's disagreement in our world, Lord, we ask you to let people choose reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for help for all those who right now are suffering from the effects of hurricanes, tornadoes, storms, volcanoes, earthquakes, floods, droughts, or wildfires. We pray that our planet's resources will be used both equitably and responsibly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of all those in our community and those known to us who are ill or who are suffering and all those who care for them. We also pray on this day, Lord, for all those who have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to hold in your hands all those who have recently departed and those lost loved ones who have an anniversary or a birthday at this time. In our own community, we pray particularly for Jim Reith, for Brooke LaCour, Trinette Wellesley-Wellesley, and Tim Warburton. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our prayer. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts. For all these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. And let us now ask for our Lord's forgiveness that knows no bounds. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. <clears throat> if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Therefore, let us confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and we repent of all of our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past 
and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And my friends, I now greet you with the greeting of peace. We are the body of Christ by one spirit. We were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. The peace of of the risen Lord always be with you. Also. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. <clears throat>